seeking motivation? It's a common question. I, I, I just made a video for my other channel in Spanish, and I thought I should talk about this on this channel because it's powerful. And I think that this video can help you. I think that maybe if you watch this video, maybe it can change your life in some small way. So I thought, let me put it out there. So a common question I get from people is, my lips are chapped. I'm getting over a cold. How do you, how do you find motivation? How do you motivate yourself when you don't want to work? How do you, how do you work when you don't want to? And a common answer that people give is, oh, discipline, right? David Goggins is a motivational speaker and he always talks about how, you know, discipline beats motivation. It's a common, common thread. And, and sure, that's true. I've talked about that as well. But that's easy to say and hard to do, right? It's like saying, how do you make more money? Well, you get a better job. <laughs> well, how do you do that, right? So, so there's, there's two things, okay? There, there's two things that you need in life that will motivate you to do anything. And this is a very simplistic way to look at it, but I think it can help you greatly. So first of all, you need to have a reason. And it doesn't have to be some huge, great reason. I mean, it's better if it is. It's better if it's like some giant goal. And you should have one. I believe that you should have, you know, a big dream and a big goal. But let, let's tone it down. I mean, let's just say that you're in college and you're trying to get a computer science degree. And you're forced to take discrete mathematics, which pretty much every computer science student in the U.S. has to take discrete math. And it's like... It's a hard class. You know, people call it a weed-out class and all this stuff. It's hard. So how do you find the motivation to study for a class that you're forced to take, that you don't like, that you don't think is going to help you? How do you? How do you do that? Or how do you find the motivation to go to a job that you hate? You know? So the reason is simple. The reason is you have to have a reason, Right? What is your purpose? What is your what is your reason for doing what you're doing? And you have to identify that. And chances are, it's pretty easy to identify. For example, in, in the fictional scenario of a computer science student, that reason is getting a degree. If, if you want to get the degree, you have to do the work, right? So fall back on your reasons. And the reason this is powerful is whenever you're feeling like you're not motivated to do something, whether it be go to work, go to school, study, ask yourself, why are you doing this? What is, what is your purpose? What is the reason you even started all of this? That reason is going to give you motivation to work. Now, here's step two. You might say, well, I know my reason. I still don't want to work. Ah. The trap of knowing what you have to do and not doing it causes stress. So like, let's say you're trying to learn calculus because you're trying to pass the calculus class, right? And you know, you know that you need to do it. You know you need to do it because you need to get your degree, because you want to get a job, you want to have a better life. I mean, we all want a better life. But you still can't find the motivation, but you know your reason. Realize that if you sit there and think about it, all it's going to do is create stress. And the only way, my friends, the only way you're going to learn calculus. The only way you're going to learn discrete math, the only way you're going to get that job, the only way you're going to accomplish anything is to take action. So you need to have a reason for what you're doing and then be self-aware and realize that action is basically the only thing you can do, right? It's, it's almost like a dark reality, but it's also kind of freeing because you have the answer. It's in front of you. You already know what you have to do. You already know. You have to take action. So remind yourself of your reasons that will kind of say, hey, wait a minute. This is why I'm doing this. And then realize that you have to take action. Also realize that if you don't take action and you're aware of your reason, what's that going to do? It's going to create a ball of huge stress. And you don't want that, right? You want to be in the zone. You want to be focused. You want to be 
working, grinding, accomplishing your goals. Remind yourself of your reasons and take that step, take action. It will eliminate stress and it will help you reach your goals much, much faster. That's all I want to say. Short video. Stay strong, my friends.